Hey everyone, Sean here from the EasyTechSite.com. I just wanted to show you real quick how to install a simple forum within your WordPress site. Uh, nobody wants to have to click through to a third party site from your site to use your forums. Um, so if you're someone who wants just a basic forum within their website, then SimplePress.com is a great option for you. And I'm going to show you how to download that and get that into your WordPress site. Um, so if you just want to go to simple slash press dot com that's where we'll go to get the forum plugin you want to click on download latest release of simple press you also need to make sure your wordpress site is updated to 3.1 or higher so uh, go ahead and click download then it'll take us to our next page here and we want to go over right here where it says download version 4.4 .4, or whatever the newest version is so after you've got that downloaded, which I do, we want to go to our dashboard on our WordPress site and we want to go to plugins. And this is just like installing any other plugin except we're going to upload it to our plugins instead of uh, searching for it within WordPress. So then we want to go add new. And this time we're going to hit upload. We're going to find that file that we just downloaded. Mine happens to be in the downloads folders, but yours might be somewhere else. And it might say, you know, whatever the number is, release. Let's go ahead and open that. Install now. And that takes a good 15 to 20 seconds, depending on your uh, internet speeds here. So we'll wait on that just for a minute while that uploads. Now this is uh, going to be good for anyone who just wants a basic forum within the site. Um, it's not going to be, you know, like a professional forums site. You know, there's better options for that. But for someone who has a WordPress site, they just want a basic forum that pe their clients can use, then this is the way to go for sure. So it looks like it's uh, just about finished here. Okay, so it says it's been installed successfully, so we just want to click Activate Plugin. And then we got to do one more install process. So if we come over here, it'll say Forum, hit Install Simple Press, and then click on Perform Installation. And here it goes. It's going to start zipping all these files in here, and it only takes a second. I love how quick and easy this is. All right, so it is installed completion here. So we have completed our install. Now, if you're someone who uses customized menus, you're going to have to go into your menus and maybe you don't use this so you may not have to but if you're someone who customizes your menus then you want to go in and you want to add your forum to your menu that way it'll show up at the top of your page and save it and now we want to customize our forum and I'm not going to walk you through too much of this but um, I do want to give you some basics here So this is the control panel for your forum and you can manage your groups, you can create a new group, you can add a new forum. So let's just say we want to add a new forum to our list here. Or I'm sorry, we want to add a new group. And we're just going to call this test forums. Test forum description is for video. Let me get rid of my antivirus there. And um, right here we can set our permissions. So maybe we want our guests to just have read-only access. Maybe the members of our website can have standard or full access. This is so that they can actually post and create posts. And moderators, maybe they can have moderate access. Create new group. So now we have a forum group. And maybe we want a new forum within that. So we want to select our forum group, test forum, 
and let's see the name for the form maybe we'll just say video video training and we can submit set the permissions again we'll just say you know whatever you want to do with your permissions here create form so now we have a form created now that'll be on our page uh, another important thing we want to go to WordPress integration and we want to hit page and permalink I like to check mark load JavaScript um, the reason I do that is because I've had issues where people couldn't register or log in All right, another thing we might want to do after we've uh, loaded the JavaScript is you might want to go to general if you want people to be able to register and use your forums you're gonna have to allow it so membership anyone can register we want to save changes alright let's see if our WordPress forum is up and running yet it usually takes a few minutes to completely be ready to use so if we click on our forum and there it is so there's our forums page um, we've got our first uh, topic right there video training and um, that's it ladies and gentlemen it's that simple so I hope you found that this uh, training video was helpful to you for more training tips you can go to easytextsite.com